In today's video, we're going to count in 50s and count in 100s. Let's start by counting in 100s up to 1000. When you count in 10s, you change the 10s digit, whereas when you count in 100s, you only change the 100s digit. 0 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 Now you have a go at counting in hundreds. Now let's have a look at counting in fifties. Zero. Fifty. 100 150 200 250 300 350 400 450 500 Let's compare the pattern of counting 50s to the pattern of counting 5s. What do you notice? Did you spot it? Knowing your 5 times table can help you when counting in 50s, as counting in 50s is 10 times greater than counting in 5s. And if it's 10 times greater, then we know that every number in this sequence will end in 0. Now it's your turn to have a go at counting in 50s. Here are some numbers in a sequence of counting in 50s. One of the numbers is incorrect. Can you spot the odd one out? Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. Let's see how you got on. What can you remember about counting in 50s? It's similar to the 5 times table, but it's 10 times greater which means every number should end in zero. Which number doesn't follow this rule? The number 555 ends in five, so it is a multiple of five, but it doesn't end in zero, so it's not a multiple of 50. It should be 550, 